The, the parliamentary budget officer has already proven that the Liberal carbon tax, just like the Prime Minister, is not worth the cost, saying the vast majority of people are worse off under a carbon pricing regime than without. This is partly because of the economic cost that the carbon tax imposes. The, um, one of our members for Winnipeg asked the PBO if the government had done uh, an economic analysis of the cost, and he said yes, but they're blocking its release referring to it as a gag order. Wow. Why the carbon tax cover-up? Speaker, we of course respect the work of the Parliamentary Budget Officer who provides independent analysis to this government. In this instance, however, the Parliamentary Budget Officer admitted that he made a mistake with his carbon pricing reports using incorrect analysis and modelling, which emphasises what we've been saying all along, Mr. Speaker, that eight out of ten Canadians get more money back from the Canada carbon rebate while we fight climate change. The next Canada carbon rebate is actually going to be alive arriving on the 15th of July in Canadians' bank accounts right across the country. We will continue to put money in people's pockets and fight climate If that was true, he would simply release the report with the real cost of the carbon tax that he's been hiding. But the Auditor General released another report showing that this Prime Minister is not worth a corruption or cost after nine years, $123 million in spending in the Prime Minister's Green Slush Fund broke the rules. Uh, according to the, uh, one of the bureaucrats involved, the entire uh, expenditure resembles the Liberal sponsorship oh, wow. scandal. Wow. Will he take personal responsibility for these costs and corruption, or will he just blame others again? Mr. Speaker, the Minister has already taken uh, measures to ensure uh, that these, uh, these programs are properly spent, uh, that the processes are properly followed in terms of contracts. Uh